well hello folks custard profit here i uh, hope you're doing well um i thought it might be a good opportunity to give you a little bit of a tour of the famous landmarks of of liege and if we're doing that there is only one place to start isn't there and it's this behind me i mean this is probably the most famous landmark in not just belgium but the whole of europe um it is a exact replica of san francisco's golden gate bridge um, exact in every way apart from the fact it's 65 centimeters long and made entirely out of chocolate so it was made by the uh, the famous uh, chocolatier barry manilow and his son clive in their back garden shed and it's visited by almost five billion people every single year absolutely immense you don't want to get too close though because it was made in 1965 and uh, well it's gone off quite terribly now so it absolutely reeks but a, a wonderful work of engineering i'm sure you'll all agree so last time we were with shawnee um it was it wasn't going so well we hadn't got a win uh we were bottom of the table and we'd only got two points well all of those things have changed now let's go and find out well hello folks welcome to episode three of our our second season almost the third season with rfc liege um we've got a bit of a special one for you today we've got a double header as I, as in, I said in the intro, we haven't got two points, we're not bottom, and we have got our first win. In fact, we've got more than one win. Let's, <clears throat> let's have a look. So, last time we were together, we saw the 1-1 uh, draw against Vesterloo. Uh, I felt we might have deserved a little bit more, but we had a series of home games coming up, and so we're going to try and make the most out of those. And as you can see, we did really well. We beat Club Bruges NXT 2-0. Uh, Lallemont and Levambo were the goals. Uh, they had a player sent off, but it was very, very late on. I think we absolutely deserved that, that victory, which was great. Then we played Union, who were another team who were struggling a little bit. This was a little bit more disappointing because we played great, but we didn't beat them. It was 0-0 in the end. They did be beat us 3-0 in the reverse leg. So, picked up. Well, decent run of games, actually. That's four games in the league unbeaten. And then it all kind of went a bit wrong. Uh, we took the lead here against Dines, um, Mahu with the goal, and then they went quickly 4-1 up. What was frustrating about this, this was only with seven shots. They had scored four goals. And they weren't particularly good chances. That just, they just all went in the back of the net. We went to a 4-4-2, and Lallemont scored a couple of goals. And we just it was just a bit too late for the comeback. Uh, ended up 4-3. I felt we deserved something out of that game. Then we played RWDM, who are supposed to be a team that are struggling this year. They've beaten us twice. Um, they beat us 3-0. We weren't great. We weren't terrible. We certainly were not a 3-0 game, but probably didn't deserve to get anything out of it either. Um, Debati has been a little bit poor in goal, I have to say. It's disappointing, and the right-back position not doing things. As you can see, we played Brugeman in because the centre-backs were just we're struggling defensively. I think Bastilio on the left side is good, but the other three, not so good, and, and the back line. As also, you can see, defensively, we were um, and the rest of the team, we were having to play all sorts of other people because we had injuries. Even Bowden having a poor game. But then we played Lommel, a game we might be expected to lose. They're second in the league, or were at the time, beaten 2-0. Uh, two goals from Lallemont. You can see he's absolutely crucial. Dostilio is out uh, for a little bit, only sort of six days or so. We've had a, a few injuries to deal with. So today we're coming back for the game against Ghent in the Cup. Uh, seventh round of the Cup. Ghent, uh, one of the top teams in Belgium, already dispatched one of the best teams in Belgium. And then a really important game uh, away at Vesteloo, who are eighth and just below us. Let's have a look at the table. So this is what it looks like. We're just one point ahead of Vesteloo, uh, two points behind uh, Club Bruges NXT and uh, three behind Union SG. Looks like it's going to be one of those four uh, clubs that ends up going down. Um, RWDM, for whatever reason, are doing all right. But it is a tight league. <clears throat> and we just need to keep 
uh, picking up victories. I know what's quite gone on with Club Bruges NXT because suddenly they started picking up wins. Lanamon, top scorer in the league, he is critical for us. So let's go and play uh, in the Belgian Cup. I'm not expecting much here. We've had a lot, we've had a few people come back from injury, so I'm excited by having them back. So the likes of Lavambo and Mahu have both been out. As you can see, they're not fully fit and probably not going to get a load of games. Dostilio, he's kind of back, but I don't want to risk him for this yet. So team we're going with is Lalamon up top. Lavambo and Mahu are going to be the starting uh, wingers. Bodin, Rhodes and Asana are in midfield. Overs are on Bidunga, Van der Akenberg and Kirstein across the back with the Batty in goal. Uh, so yeah, Bodin, we've been um, we've taken him from being playing under twenty one matches because he's playing a lot of um, matches for the first team, and you can see he's still improving very very nicely. Um, his, his mental stats are looking much, much better. Technically, he's got a lot of things sort of um, pushing to the, um, into, the, um, in, into the double figures now, which is great. Physically, he's been strong all along. So let's see what we can do with this side. So we enter the dressing room. I mean, we'll, we'll go with that, but I don't think it's the right thing to say. We're not really expecting to do much here against this um, Ghent side. They're going to be very, very good. I think we will instantly move it back to cautious. Overies fouls his man straight away. Davy Overies. And they have a, a free kick. Oh, wow. Hits the bar. And we just about survived that. Ooh, 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 Sue. He's got a chance, has he? Come on. Clear it. Close him down. Castro Montez missed the challenge there. They're going, coming at us again. Another challenge missed. Over is, is making all sorts of mistakes. Just a second. I've just seen something pretty awful. Is that Lalamont with a... I don't think we can risk him. But who the heck do you bring on now? Don't really have much. Martin Suarez has got decent finishing. He's also fairly fast. I wonder whether he is the man to bring on for this. We do have a, a young lad in the um, under under 19s that we could potentially bring on, but I think for this game it's not worth it. We need him for the league, and we can't uh, we can't have him injured for a long period. We've not done much, but equally they've not created an awful lot. I know that's all about to change. And they certainly, well, they haven't scored yet, which is even better. Burner. Oh, that was nicely done. Uusu, it was beautifully played. Our defence was statuesque. Great. So 1-0 down against Ghent. We've not looked in the game at all. 1.4 uh, XG for, for Ghent. I think we'll continue to try and keep it tight. We'll, we'll press them. Uh, Uwusu, who's, who caused, scored the goal. Boussaid, ball in. Looks like we are struggling um, in the air a little bit against these these guys. I mean, I guess Uwusu, considering he keeps winning the headers, is probably a fairly tall bloke. Do we just go for it? I mean, I don't know. They keep, they keep beating us in the air, that is for certain. Right, not the best first half. We have yet to register a single shot. And Davy over is looking ill-disciplined. That's good, isn't it? Let's change things around a little bit. I'm going to take Rhodes off because I think we'll rest him. And we'll bring on... Who's going to be best up there? Garcia Cavallo. What do you like to play as if you're up top? Pressing forward. False nine. False nine. Why not? Why not? We'll do that. We'll do that, sir. We'll see how that works. Uh, hands on hips. <sighs> yeah, what, what can we expect? At least we've seen them touch the ball now. Uh, 
I think it's it's always going to be tricky, particularly if you don't have your main man up top. And and don't forget also we've got issues with the um Oh dear me. Yangbo yeah, goalkeeper looks terrible there. Let's uh let's stop playing course. It doesn't really matter. I'd be nice to score a goal. I'm also going to take off Mahu and we're going to bring on Mouchon at this early stage just because I don't want Mahu because he's just back from injury to be in any way um, jaded for the next match Ruff plays it up the pitch we've gone balanced what we'll also do I think just while they're fiddling around with that well, we are going West. Should we hit early crosses and go a little bit wider? Okay. I don't think, still don't think we've had a shot, which is. Yeah, 4 0. This is really bad. We're going to have a shot here. Over is da Davy Over is into Lavambo. <laughs> Just about get away with it. Asania, Bowden, Lavambo. Now oh, the ball's out. And Nyangbo has absolutely had our defence for breakfast. Danny Overis, or Davy Overis, with one of the worst passes you're ever likely to see. And we are 5 0 down. Awesome stuff. But it's in the cup. We're out of the cup. Hopefully, we get some money from this. Because it doesn't seem to be prize money anywhere in this in this thing we've had some shots though so let's let's celebrate that the important thing is to come oh debatty he's got hold of it right clear it up the pitch i've been thinking about maybe bringing one of the youngsters in but yeah, i'm not sure whether it's the right move or not because i, I think looking at the, the quality of them they are not as good or maybe maybe it would at least give him a little bit of a kick up the arse Martin Suarez. It was offside. Oh well. And Asani is injured. That is not what I want. I don't know what to do now. I don't really have anyone. Well, I don't think I can make another change, can I? No. I think we have to do that. Can we take him off? Yep. There we go. Not ideal. Sani is quite an important player for us. So, I mean, we've been smashed and, and that's that's what's happened. I don't think we can... Well, is there a chance here to get maybe a goal back? Garcia Cavalio. He's not really done much for us yet. No, just runs into the player. Nice challenge. Come on, Badunga, Lavambo clears it up the pitch. Bowden, he's doing all right. He's trying his best. Lavambo's had to stay on for the entirety. This could be quite. Oh no! Nice ball, Martin Suarez. Oh, I thought that was in. It would have been a nice end to it at least. Um, I think five nil is probably fair. <laughs> Six nil. Okay. Okay. Stain is knackered, Bowden's knackered, Lamambo's knackered. Great. Okay, well, what can you say? Not good enough. Oh, stop, please. No, I'm not happy with that. That'd be ridiculous. Assistant. Right, and let's just have a look at these injuries. Four weeks to two months, Asania out. That's that's bad. What's that? What have we got? No, we have to leave it to the assistant. Lallemont, only two to three days. That's fine. So it probably means he will be missing against Vestalou, though. So that's not ideal. I'll see you there for that game. Okay, here we are. Next game up. Now, I didn't think Lallemont was going to be fit for this, um, but he is. He is actually fit for it, which is great. Um, so a couple of few players out uh, after his... <laughs> 
uh, interesting play last time. Davy Overage is back on the bench. Asania is definitely out for a while. Halil Kose, he's, he is injured, but we've got a fairly strong side um, outside of that. We are going to give Besson a game in that ball-winning midfielder role. He does play there, and he's not really had much of an opportunity. Um, I think it's well worth giving him that chance. He's only 22, maybe chance for improvement there. Um, we're going to go with uh, Hias on the right side as well as a slight alteration to Kasten. So team we've got is Lallemand up top, Levambo Mahu, Bodin Rudz and Besson in the midfield. Dastilio, Bedunga, Van der Akenvaken and Hias across the back and the Batty in goal. So come on boys, this is this is the chance we absolutely we can't we don't want to lose it. I mean if we lose it it's not the end of the world, but if we don't if we avoid losing this somehow, then we will be in a much better position. If we win this, it would be huge. Let's not worry too much about this. Uh, uh let's Let's say we'll, it will have to work hard to make them beat beat us. Now, they're in terrible form at the minute. Three losses, four losses on the trot. Can we carry on with playing some decent football? We've struggled away from home, I have to say, but it's good to have Lalamon back. He missed virtually the entirety of the last game. So let's see what we can do. Nice bit of play from them, though. Very, very strong start. Well, he has, does make a challenge. I was thinking that was going to be a penalty. It's into Mahu. Mahu runs up the wing. Brilliant. Into Lalamont. And he shoots from there. Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. What are you doing, mate? Dukes. Well, we've managed to get it out. That was lucky, I think. Paulette. And it's in. Dukes uh, at the far post. Uh, so, I mean, how do you say that? So, 1 0 down, not ideal. And it's this away from home terrible form that we've got. But Dastilio back in the side. Important player for us. The corners are just not working. Besson into Rodez. Lalamon. That's <laughs> over the top. Nice effort, bit straight. I mean, XG wise, we're not far off them. They're matching our formation. Second half, we'll, we'll probably go try and put it into a, a, a 4 4 2 sort of formation. Petrov. Lovely challenge, but. Oh, real, real opportunity there. We've not. We've not been quite on it today I'm going to go positive and we will make that change at half time so Luc Besson is going to be the man to come off he's not really helped much Martin Suarez I mean we're going to go with the poacher up top we're going to go a little wider hit those early crosses and see what we can do with this Not been so happy. We haven't been the better team. Yeah, I expect much more from you. I think. Come on. Come on. Right, let's do this. Can we turn this around? Have to roll the dice a bit here and maybe give up a few more opportunities if we want to get back into this, but it's them. Who have the oh lovely Van der Akkerman? He's not the best player in the world, but oh no, failed to make the uh, the forward nicely done. Or Rodez, we don't have that defensive midfielder anymore, which might be a problem. But we, I think we've got to go for what we've got. Dostilio down this left side. And I don't even know what happened there. The game glitched a little bit. And I think they tried to shoot from another ridiculous angle. Which is basically all we're seeing at the minute. In terms of highlights. 
And a lovely save from Debati there. Let's shout at them. And he tries to play a long ball out. And Van der Ackenberg does well. Mahu. Oh, good God, man. I wonder whether actually just now we are creating a few more chances. Take shoot on sight off. We'll just see whether we can create a little bit better opportunities. Yeah, that sounds a good move. We'll do that. Castan on. We're coming towards the end of the game and we still haven't picked up. What else have we got? Cavallo, could you come on to create some... Oh, he's not great, is he? That's... Lovambo is knackered. Let's... Should we bring Mouchamp on on that left side? Oh, right, it's a chance here. I'll be disappointed to lose this 1-0. No, it's just seemingly what we're doing at the um, away from home. Really not yet to get anything meaningful away from home. Lalamont. Mahu. Nice, nice bit of play there. And it's Dastilio. Not being particularly creative. Rod is. It's in. It's Martin Suarez. Didn't see that one coming. Late on. We'll pull back to positive because I don't think it really. I don't too worried if we don't win this. I just didn't want to lose it. And it's a 1-1 draw. That's all you guys see, isn't it, in the league? But certainly, in the end, we pulled it back, played reasonably well in the second half. I wonder whether this 4-4-2 um, works a bit better when we don't have a decent defensive midfielder in there. But the, the middle two, Bowden and Rodez, doing well. Martin Suarez and Castan, all very good. He asked terrible at right back, and I think... His, his time at the club is coming to an end, unfortunately. They're all happy with that. I think a draw keeps us above them. Um, which is good. So let's just have a look at the table. We stay just one point behind uh, Club Bruges NXT, or we'll move one, one point behind Club Bruges NXT. We're one point ahead of Vesteloo. Um, but it's a it's an away point, which is always very very well received. So we've got some tough games coming up. Club Bruges NXT. We've got the Union at Union SG coming up. up. I mean that might be one I come back for, or maybe this one, the RWDM game, because they I mean they're second now, but I'd like it'd be nice to take one over uh, over them. We're not losing that many games. We only lost. Five out of our 12 games which is pretty good but there's still so much more to do let me know what you thought in the comments um what do you reckon is going to happen um are we going to stay up <laughs> it's looking really tight isn't it nervous as hell about this but I, I hope we've got enough i really hope we've got enough if you have enjoyed that please hit that like button please subscribe if you are new and i'll see you next time as we uh, as we inch closer to hopeful safety Oh, oh, good God. Goodbye.